Hey everybody, uh, it's Bust, continuing our playthrough of the Path of Champions. Today, we're going to be doing Darius's one-star quest, Storm the Battlements, and this one should be pretty quick and pretty easy. And so our Darius, uh, he is two-starred at this point. We haven't played too much of the Darius campaign, but uh, we have managed to get the two stars attached to him, and so he has the uh, the standard Nox and Might, so when you first summon a unit each turn, he gets plus two attack, and then his second uh, star ability is you get plus one mana, and then the first time you attack with 15 power of units, you get a rally. Very easy to get gigantic chunks of damage coming through. Uh, in terms of our champion level, we are up to level nine, so some of our units are starting to get upgraded. And then with the relics, uh, we are just using the challenger one. Uh, it gives Darius uh, the opportunity to kind of pick and choose who he's going to fight for his battle, so that if you're trying to uh, crush in those last few points of damage, you can kind of force your opponent uh, to put their, let's say, one health unit in front of Darius, maybe get a nine damage overwhelm. And so that is the squad we'll be doing battle with today. Uh, again, taking on Darius with his uh, his one-star challenge while we're already two stars isn't going to be too challenging, but it'll be a nice little warm-up for the remainder of the adventures. What up, Garen? All right, and so see if we get a good power. For the most part, I just like the ones that let us cheat. Uh, none of them turned up here outside of cards you draw this turn cost one less, which will be completely fine. But the, the ones that let you cheat, uh, if you want something that does say uh, uh, bonus mana or something that lets you draw additional cards, uh, now that we have the second mana coming off of our star power, it's pretty easy for us to just drop a bunch of dudes on the board real quick in the early game. All right, reasonable enough start. We've got a two drop to put down here. We'll see if we pick up a unit that we can draw on the first turn. Since our things are gonna be cheaper, we didn't, and so we're just stuck with what we got. So close to just lethaling him. If he doesn't, if he doesn't have a play already, then we'll just go ahead and win the game. Plucky Poro, barely enough to save him. Gets him down to one. Pretty challenging. I told you this was going to be a pretty challenging battle. <laughs> Maybe he'll attack into our Crimson Disciple. Go ahead and end the game this turn. Nope. Fine, dude. Fine. <laughs> Got something for him. Nice. Nice little takedown. Okay. And then in terms of cards we're going to select here, I just like something cheap. Since our cards aren't uh, set up for the um, uh, the items yet, I don't really like to reroll here. Uh, and I'll just go with the Ever Onward. This is a pretty high-powered card, getting a six-cost unit for four mana. Uh, whereas the Grey Physician is fine. Uh, if I felt like we were in more of a kind of like struggle mode throughout this adventure, I would probably go for it. But uh, I think we're pretty safe to just go with the uh, the higher powered play here. And with these, like these champions aren't that great. Fiora is fine. Uh, we don't have a lot of Fiora combos though. Uh, and so I'm just going to reroll and see if we can't find another collection of cheap units. And here we go with the, the Legion Saboteur Katarina. Very uh, powerful set of cards for our champions here. So what do we got? We got a shop and a slot bot. I don't need rerolls, so we'll uh, skip over the slot bot path, and then we'll come up against the Fleet Feather Tracker here. Also, the, the Fleet Feather Tracker is pretty weak against our Katarina. If we're just generating Blades Edges, we have great ways to take down the, the birds. All right, the, 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 the classic power coming out of the the noxus hand here we drew the 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 iron ballista on the first turn so we'll go ahead and play it to be mana efficient goes up to three mana next turn so i'd prefer to uh to play it for the cheaper price especially when we can continue to play on curve here now look at this we get the ever the ever onward for the six cost unit at three mana pretty big pretty big no we'll just take the two and then lethal with the open Got him. Very challenging, very tough adventure. <laughs> cool. It's 
So what do we got? Legion Rearguard. I love it. Favorite, one of my favorite bros of all time. Hitting up the shop, we're just going to look for like one drops pretty much. Nothing here. The buy a power, give something challenger when you play it. Sure, I'm on board with that. Up here, we got a champion chest. The champion chests aren't like super ideal with Darius because he's so expensive. Uh, but these other ones, what's our other option here? The item chest. I'm not worried about either of these combats. Uh, if one of his units dies, generate a succession. That's not going to be a problem. We'll, we'll kill him before he can use the value out of that anyways. All right. Hang on to our ones and twos. I could, I guess, when we start with the rear guard, I could see an argument for just going ahead and getting rid of the disciple, but um, I, I just want to be able to spend all of our mana this turn. Oh, we drew a one drop, so we just get to replay. <laughs> it's like we're, we're so close to just immediately lethaling. Got to emote to that. Cupcake. Really coming at us, huh? Alright, I guess this one's done. <laughs> Let's just pass and get the attack in. Get you all out of here a little bit early today. Wrecked him. What you got for us? Iron Ballista looks pretty good. Happy enough to stack those up. We can play it the first turn if we draw it on our first turn, and then getting the mana gem out of it is pretty nice. Here, Thorn of the Rose with the Overwhelm is quite powerful as well. Nice little item to stack in. Hitting the shop, we're running low on money, but Dust Up Diplomacy is great. Uh, nice one mana way to spend, uh, spend our turns. And Feebling Strike, we just kill all of our opponents anyways. Their, their units aren't surviving our attacks, so we'll... We'll skip over that one. Look pretty good. Hit up the healer. Cut out something expensive. Probably just want to get rid of bloody business. And on to battle with Garen. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. <laughs> Alright. We'll hang on to the ones. Dropping two one drops on the first turn here would be kind of cool. Uh, and then we're we're ready. Oh, the Iron Ballista is like a little bit safer, right? It's going to give us the extra point of mana. We may just like straight up win on the second turn here, depending on what our what our draw is with Katarina. I think she might be a little slow. But let's see. Rear guard coming in. Battlefield prowess doesn't matter. Ten. Fifteen to erect Garen. <laughs> nice. Easy little battle. And so, like I said, I wasn't expecting too much out of that one, uh, but it does get to kind of get you in the mindset of what's going to be happening with Darius. We get to drop a lot of really high-powered units early, and then... Uh, even with that last attack there, we would have rallied, so we would have got a second attack in. So even if we were a little short of the 15, we most certainly would have ended the game on that turn. And that's what you're going to be like really looking for here in terms of these Dariuses, is how do I set up this big uh, OTK where I, I, uh, I get an attack in, I get a rally, and then I get a second attack in to come in and finish off our opponent. But that's going to do it for us today. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. You all have yourselves a good one out there.